Let me kick it. No. At the beginning, they wanted to be a center, but I'm like, I don't want to snap. No, I can't snap. Oh my god. <laughs> Wiggling the ball is not going to happen. Wait, you want that one? You want? Since when? Hey. Keep going, keep going. Hi, right, we're here at Coney High School for another edition of Gridiron Gurus. I'm Evan Crawley. And I'm Travis Lazarczyk, and today, Evan, we're going to talk about this big game in the PTCB. Uh, Coney and Skowhegan, both teams are 2-2, two and two, and Coney really coming off a, they don't want to call it a must win, but I'm going to call it a must win at Lawrence last Friday night. It was a huge win and an impressive win last week against Lawrence. Uh, Mitchell Karen, one of his best games of the season, had 339 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He's been very strong for them this season. Reed Shostak, powerful running back, linebacker, Taylor Carrier, uh, the wide receiver and linebacker position, and they have a bevy of weapons on offense. Um, and once again, though, they'll see another strong defense this week in Skowhegan. Yeah, Skowhegan's defense is led by senior linebacker Gus Benson, one of the best linebackers in the state. Last week against Brunswick, Benson had 30 tackles. Coach Matt Friedman told me he double-checked the uh, video of the game just to make sure that was right. 30 tackles. Um, offensively, Skowhegan will run the pistol offense, but it's more of a running offense this year with Caleb Brown at halfback and uh, quarterback Nate Morris is also a, a threat to run or throw. Uh, Earlier we caught up with uh, Coach Robbie Vashon, Taylor Carrier, and Mitchell Karen, uh, just to see how they're preparing for this game against Skowhegan. Oh, they're tough defensively. They fly around. They get a very good linebacker. Um, uh, their defensive line gets off the ball well. Uh, they have some athletes in the secondary. Um, you know, they're good. Offensively, they're very similar to us. You know, obviously, we have to block Benson. He's one of the best linebackers in the league. And if they keep going with the defense scheme they have, it's going to be difficult. But I think we can push through it. I think everybody's really starting to come together, you know, offensively and defensively. Everyone's starting to find their place. So. Evan, tell us about the KJ game of the week. It's Old Orchard Beach versus Oak Hill. Uh, great showdown in Western D. Both teams are 3-1. and one. A lot of the coaches I talked to at the beginning of the season uh, mentioned OOB as a team that was on the rise this year, and Oak Hill, obviously, the defending class champs. Uh, Alex Mace has 722 yards and 11 touchdowns on the season. He's off to a great start, particularly without Kyle Flaherty in the lineup. I talked to Coach Jason Doucette earlier this week. Once again, he will be a game-time decision, uh, starting running back and linebacker for them. So they've managed to make it up without him, but uh, against a strong team like Old Orchard Beach, they'll certainly need him. Uh, now moving over to Class C, uh, another great showdown over there. Yeah, big game in Eastern Class C. We're looking at uh, Winslow 4-0 going to 3-1 Belfast. Uh, this was one of the, probably the biggest rivalry in the Class B East years ago. This goes back 20 years when both teams were dominating Eastern B. Uh, it's nice to see both teams good again. Winslow has really run rush out over all their opponents so far. Their starting defense hasn't given up a point yet. And uh, led by D senior Dylan Hapworth running the ball and quarterback Bobby Chenard. Uh, the offense is really clicking in gear too. Big thing Coach Mike Savisky said is they're playing a team in Belfast that scored 82 points last week at Madison. And he said, you know, running back Stephen Davis and a lot of weapons there for the Lions, and they're going to probably be the biggest test for this Winslow Black Raiders defense yet. Now, for more results from these games and, and many more around the area, please log on to centralmain.com and also pick up the Kennebec Journal and Morning Sentinel newspapers. Okay, that's it for us this week. We'll see you next week on Gridiron Gurus. Oh, oh, oh.